Hello and welcome to Agile Crystal Framework. In this framework, this framework was also developed in software industry by a person named Alistair Cogburn in 1991. And this framework is based on or it focuses more on individuals and interactions. Individuals and interactions over processes and tools is one of the Agile values agile manifesto values so and this framework is very much flexible there are no hard and fast prescriptions that are given in this framework this framework can be very well used along with other framework in your project in this framework the primary motive is to provide utmost autonomy to the team so that team will feel the responsibility accountability and they'll feel the ownership so the properties of a crystal framework are frequent delivery like in other frameworks also we have seen uh, we have frequent delivery so that we will be able to add value to customer frequently and as early as possible osmotic communication is one of the properties of crystal framework osmotic communication means keeping transparency with respect to project information and transparency within the team and more and more interactions within the team more and more face to face interactions and uh, togetherness within the team so you have to build that kind of environment personal safety is of utmost importance in this framework like you have to pay attention to personal safety it is of utmost importance even in general but in this framework this is the one of the prescribed practice and focus on work focus on work is like focus on the value add work and try to minimize or try to eliminate the non value adding activities access to smes and users the team should have easy access to the experts or smes and even the users so that they will be able to seek feedback from the end users as early as possible as quickly as possible and they will be able to develop accordingly technical environment they need a technical environment uh, it could be in the form of uh, having automated test cases or it could be in the form of a well integrated test server wherein you have uh, continuous integration which is automated so these kind of practices are recommended in crystal framework and crystal framework has multiple flavors or we also call it crystal family and this crystal family depending on the team size criticality and priority of the project you have to choose between these crystal flavors like if your team size is 20 to 50 people then you should go with crystal orange and there are a set of practices which are specific to this level of framework and uh, if your team is very large if your project is very large very complex very critical then you should think of crystal maroon and for mission critical projects you should think of crystal diamond so these are the different flavors of crystal framework yeah so this is all about crystal framework and the focus in this framework is more on individuals and interactions focus is on people like people are the ones who are going to get the results isn't it so that is the reason you have to pay more attention to interactions communications within the team communication with the customer communication with the end users easy accessibility to experts so that is going to really add value and you will be able to come up with the best solution for your problem yeah so this is all about crystal framework see you in the next video until then bye